I'm going to start with Jeff Casey. And I met Jeff Casey at, uh, at a Net Re- uh, NetWeavers event. And I'm always talking about networking, but we're not talking about that today. What I found out about him is not only does he do uh, beautiful art- artistry work with plasters and things for the walls, but he is a specialist when it comes to um, doing the contracting part of the aging and design. So, I mean, like putting in bars for your bathroom or, or widening it. And, you know, like I said, the now thing is people want it to look nice. And if you've got to remodel, because maybe you're not wanting to sell your house, you know, the market, and you realize you're going to be there, then when you're remodeling, you, you want to think about 10 years from now or maybe even five years from now or and, and how to do it without really hurting your home value. You know, you don't want to make it into some, or somebody else won't want to buy it unless it's your home and your, your kids are going to inherit, inherit it and what do you care. But anyway, <laughs> you know, let them, eat, let them eat that, you know. Anyway, so, but I mean, you can do it beautifully and lovely. And so I want, and you're with Mark, uh, is it M? Oh, it's Jeff Casey with Mac Group. Is it M A C? Yeah, it's Metro Architectural Finishes, and we're a local Dallas contractor. But we've joined a collaborative with HPD Architecture, and that collaborative is HPD Design for Living. And we've brought in a multifaceted approach one where we bring architects and designers into the fold, as well as the families and the homeowners with a contractor. And that provides us with a check and balance approach. So everybody's involved, everybody's looking after each other's best interests. And by bringing a contractor in with a design firm and then coordinating with the owners and the owner's family, then we're getting really spectacular results. Is that Laurie Davis? It is Laura Di- Davis with her partner, uh, Holly Hall. I know uh, them. They're very good. Mm-hmm. That's, that's exciting. Uh, they're a fantastic firm, and I think it was Holly Hall's brainchild, but she's put together a great assessment program. So not only are we listening to the owner's needs, but Holly's bringing a huge amount of information to the owners where we will assess their physical ability and assess the needs of their home. Mm-hmm. They've been taking care of their home for decades. Now it's time for their home to take care of them. Well, that's a, that's a good way to look at it. And, it. and it also might be a parent that you're dealing with. And, and I know that we, like I have an older parent, and you don't want, most of them do not want to go unless they have to, to, to another facility because home is so much more comfortable. And especially if it's not something that is, you need constant care or hospice. And even so, you can handle that at home. Correct? Well, absolutely you can. And there's going to be a very wide range of solutions. And most people in the United States, they do not want to live their, leave their home. Uh, recent surveys of people 65 and over show the majority of them want to live in their homes. So with this approach, it may be as simple as rearranging furniture or decluttering the home so that the movement w- around the house is easier. It could be as complicated as redoing a master bathroom and bedroom so that somebody with Parkinson's has the ability to, to use their home and use their facilities for a much longer period of time. Yes, because, you know, I mean, that is homes where the heart is. And, and you know, a lot of people are downsizing, so they're actually – buying buying homes or retirement home and it's at that time that they could make some modifications and knowing that that would be a nice place to be and and let me ask you what do you think is the number one thing that you see people modifying um, in their homes to help them live more independently well, I don't know if there's a single right answer for Can you anybody. say the bathroom? Uh, there, you got to remember the bathroom, accessibility to taking a shower, taking a bath, uh, being able to get up and down, maybe needing grab bars. But while we're redoing the, the profile of the home, we also want to remember that it is a home, that it can be in elegant colors. You can use the right type of fixture. So like you said earlier, it doesn't look like a hospital. Mm-hmm. It looks like a very elegant home that we've incorporated features that make your day-to-day living much easier. And again, part of the collaborative approach with the contractor, the architect, the interior designer, the family all being involved one time, we achieve these type of goals. And isn't there like special tax uh, credits that are associated with modifying your home for, for that type of care? There's all types of different programs out there. And the programs range from you deal with your income level. They, they deal with some regional aspects within our country. And so they yeah, the government, if you can't afford it, they will help you. And it seems like they're making a big push because they save money if you can save and stay in your home also. Right. And there's private programs out there also. So part of the whole evaluation is the cost and the funding of the project. 
Well, and Susan joined us here. Susan, do you have a question? Yeah, I wanted to just, because my, my dad and my stepmom did this a, a number of years ago where they they remodeled their bathroom off of their master suite to put a, a dry, washer and dryer, stackable washer and dryer, so they wouldn't have to go down into the basement to do uh, laundry. And um, then she got ALS, and they had uh, bars put up along the hallway, but you hardly even notice them. I mean, you wouldn't hardly even notice that there that's a rail. I mean, it just kind of matches the the woodwork and everything. So, well, again, that's been the exciting part of working with some professional designers is because there are, are grab bars that go down the hallway that look like a chair rail. It looks like just an, an elegant wooden fixture within your home. It, it doesn't look like an in institutional or industrial rail that's, that's running around your house. Because, you know, I could see where you can even have a parent move in with you that maybe wasn't in great health, so you would need to modify. Maybe you have the room. I mean, a lot of us have, a lot of people have a big house, so they could bring mama in or papa in, and uh, they would modify maybe that, just that bathroom or that area, but they'd also want them to have access to the house. They have grab bars now that are rub oil rub bronze, so oh, <laughs> very and, up to date. And actually, that's pretty safe to have those just for you know for every day. For anybody, and that's been the great uh, advancements in our industry is that there are so many choices out there now, and it doesn't have to be uh, the, the plain Jane look. It, the grab bars can match your fixtures on your doors or on your plumbing, and. But part of the assessment is finding out what your needs are and what your desires are going to be. And I think that's the key that, that we've created a difference in how we're looking at the market. Also with the checks and balances, you know that the owners are going to get the best value for their money. Everybody's had input to it. So work that is not necessary at this time won't be done. Or it may be necessary five years or ten years from now. We want to be very careful as this market grows that there's going to be people out there trying to take advantage of the elderly or taking advantage of yeah. the older people. Yeah. So within, <laughs> within the collaborative approach, we have each other looking over the shoulder of the other, and that way they get very good value, excellent quality, and with the assessments, we can meet their actual needs. Well, and I'm telling you, that is something that I, I, you, had, you told me about a client that that their daughter's bathroom they remodeled because the wife was beginning to have problems walking not that she couldn't but she was seeing that that was going to be a continuing and maybe exacerbated problem and uh, they really were able to they did the modification to the other bathroom and what did they come up with you know so that it was wheelchair um, yeah, it, it's accessible. It's actually some people I've known for an extended period of time, a lovely family, a very tall, attractive blonde, but she's had arthritis her entire life. And she's now in her uh, early 50s, and as they remodeled one of their bathrooms, they knew that at some given point the arthritis was going to become a concern. So they put in a beautiful spa tub in their daughter's bathroom, but it has the and door on it. really likes that, I'm sure. Uh, absolutely. But yeah. they did it with beautiful woodwork. They coordinated the biscuit color of the walk-in tub with the new marble and travertines that they put in. So the daughter is enjoying it now. And then at the time when the mom is going to need more assistance getting in and out of the tub, they've already retrofitted their house to meet their needs. Yeah, because we've talked about there's so many neat things out there. I've seen a tub that you can actually kind of open up and walk into and like sit in a barrel right. <laughs> and I my husband said well how do you take a shower in it I go well, I don't know if you do but but anyway uh, and and then the kitchen the kitchen is another area that I would think people would want to modify and uh, are there low things you can do with the refrigerator and, and and maybe going by putting the refrigerator units into the uh, cabinets there, there's so many creative ideas out there and again working with the designers we find a new idea every day we can lower the height of the cabinet tops we can extend the counter so it's easier to to achieve those so if you're maybe sitting in a chair or if you're wheel belt, wheelchair bound sometimes you're not in a wheelchair but you have a difficult standing for an experience period. You may time. even be using a walker or a cane or something. That's yeah. right. 